dirty old Bilson here, eh? Freaking right it is, boys and girls. But I got another roll of the old waterproof freaking LEDs in for the undercarriage of the old golf cart. I picked up some more loom today, and I uh, installed a couple new little doodads on the cart of Ruski, which I'll show you once I get them hooked up, but just in the middle of wiring, boys. Freaking right I am. So we're gonna need that, we are. And I'm gonna need to lift this lid back up, boys. Girls, people. Good old Sean was over the other day and helped me adjust the old carburetor. We took it apart again, gave it another clean job out. It seems to run a lot better now, boys. Good old Sean, he's good at the old carburetors, he is. So now she runs like a kitten. How good a two-stroke runs, eh? They're all running rough, but hey, it is what it is. I started work on the steering wheel, cutting that part off right here. I don't know. Here, let me set you somewhere where you can watch, for God's sakes. Why wouldn't I? Starting to work on the old steering wheel. Cutting this little groove off here so I can wrap it with some carbon and then I'm gonna do like a wrap rope or something on here, but it looks a little better with thinned out, eh? And that'll look good all wrapped up in carbon. It will be decent. So we'll get that wrapped up. I'm gonna try to save some money there and fix the steering wheel. Right? We're gonna make our own, boys. We're gonna make our own steering wheel. But anyways, this is what I'm doing right now, boys. Girls, peoples. I got the old wire ran for the back lights I do, so I couldn't run the right of the rest of the way to the front because I didn't have any black loom left. So now I gotta roll the black loom from the good old Princess Auto boys. So we're gonna loom this bad boy up so it's nice and neat and tidy, hey? Friggin' right we are. I'm a nice and neat and tidy kind of guy I am. I like my wiring neat, boys. Friggin' right I do. So we'll do this, which is gonna take a friggin' forever does whenever you run this stuff especially the distance I gotta run it but hey you can just sit here and watch you can why wouldn't you hey why the hell wouldn't you so let's get this on here like so like so there's an easier way to do this but I'm gonna do it the hard way boys because that's how I roll eh that's how I freaking roll eh freaking right it is <laughs> get up there for the right sakes let's get her into the hole let's get her in the hole Jim nothing like some Speaker wire for a light, eh? Freaking right. That's a difference, I say. So I figured I'd get all the lights hooked up, and then by the time Christmas comes by, I'll be able to order the old stereo for her, boys. And like I said, I need one of those media decks I do. And then we'll start working on the old stereo. But I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put freaking speakers in this thing. That's gonna be the next thing. And then I gotta decide whether I wanna put a roof on it, eh? I don't know if I want to put a roof on it or not, boys, but we'll figure it out later, we will. Look at me go, eh? Friggin' right. Just looming the hell out of her, I am. Looming it. Nothing like some good looming, boys. Girls, peoples. Don't forget to subscribe and like, eh? And make sure you hit that like button, Danius. Why wouldn't you? If you don't want to subscribe, I guess that's okay, too. It is what it is. But the old Yamaha there, she's come along pretty good, she is. She's a unique machine. Big time. I like them unique. We're gonna put that through there we are. Figure out a way to mount that to that after. Man, that stain looks good on the front. I definitely gotta stain the bottom so it matches. Alright, so I'm gonna fold this down here like so. And then I'm gonna come back through here like so. And then I'm gonna go through here like so. Who, eh? Who? Sure will. Decent. So I'll put that one through first because it's longer. Come on, get through there, you son of a beaver. Oh, for God's sakes, Jim. Come on, boys. We're gonna put the rest of this loom on this wire. Can't get through like that. She's only wide enough for one chunk of loom. Be there yet? Probably not. All right. So now that we got that covered. We'll slide this through here like so, and we'll pull on her like so. So now we'll come up and around, down and around over to here. Gonna figure out a way to mount to that though. Zip tie her like that, and she'll be mint, boys. Get out the old zip ties, we will. Nothing like a good zip tie. All right, so we'll zip tie this around here, and then we'll come down here. Somewhere. Hey, somewhere. Actually, we should go back around like this and follow the wiring harness. That would be decent. Then it looks factory, boys. That's the way we're gonna go right there. Another zip tie. 
Another zip tie there. Then we'll come down here like so. And down here like so. Through the frame. Another zip tie. I'm watching. Probably not. Oh, I also found out the alternator generator. I think the um, regulator's gone on her, boys. That's why she's making 16.7 volts. And Sean also talked about that. And I'm going to get what they call a... Uh, 12 volt battery stabilizer, eh? So it, go, it will go here and it'll hook up the positive negative and it will only allow 14 volts into the battery, 14 volts to all my lights and stuff like that so it don't blow it all up, boys. So I got one of them coming, I do. And we'll hook that up because it's cheaper to do it that way than buy a new alternator generator because the alternator generator is about $700, boys. So we're gonna do her that way, eh? Friggin' right we are. And that way she'll be safe. Big time. Hey, because you can't hook up 16.7 volts to a, uh, a stereo, boys, or it's just going to fry it. And LED lights and whatever else not. You know, if I'm, if I'm just idling around, she's fine. But if I give her some throttle, she goes right up to 16.7, boys. So she's making some juice, she is. She's running some juice, boys. Freaking right she is. So now we got to go up over this, we do. And around here, like so. And I gotta figure out where the other wire is going because we want it to go the exact same routage as the other one. So we gotta get under the car a little bit, we do. Can you see me? Yes. Can you see what I'm doing? No? Yes. You're not supposed to see what I'm doing. It's supposed to be a surprise. I'll show you anyway. Come here. So what I'm gonna need is, I'm gonna get you in a cocked over angle I am, and I'm gonna get a light. So, under the cart, we've got everything in loom here, as you can see. Hey, let me know if you see any rust, boys, because I can't see up in here. So if you see any rust in here, let me know so I can fix that. I'm freaking right, you better. So I'm going to shine the light right in my face, I am, so you can see. Because that's how I roll, eh? I always want to make sure you guys can see. To hell with me, I don't need to see nothing. Hey, I can just guess. All right, so the wires go around like this and like this. So I'm going to follow that same passage, because I like to have all my wires in the same spot. So I know where to look if I need to find something. I got some zip ties I need to cut off. Let's cut that off so we don't have like a hundred zip ties hooked on there. That will bug the hell out of me too. What I need is my side cutters. Where the fuck they went? Holy shit, boys. All right, here they come. Are you waiting for me? Decent. So we'll cut the zip tie off because I don't want a hundred zip ties and I got lots of zip ties. So I don't want a hundred zip ties under this thing. Then when I look under, it will just bug the hell out of me. So we'll cut that one off, we'll put a new one on, boys. So we bundle the wires up together, hey, with one tie. So there we go, decent. So now we'll cut that off, careful. And we'll turn it so we don't cut ourselves on it. There we go. So now we'll cut this one off, decent. Can you see me? Probably not. Keep, have an eye there, would you? Watch what I'm doing, for God's sakes. Can you see? Probably not. How about now? Maybe a little? Okay. So we'll put another zip tie on here, we will. See the rust that way, boys? Keep an eye open for that stuff. Friggin' right, you better. Even though I think I got her pretty good. So there we go, there's another zip tie on that. Decent, make sure it's pointing up so we don't cut ourselves on her. And then we gotta go up here, like so. Lay down and stay, would you? So now we'll come up here like this, like so. And this one's gotta go up and around here. Ah, oh, boys. I'm just wasting zip ties like crazy. Hey, that's how I roll. Zip ties? Christ, I got all sorts of zip ties, I do. They make them every day, they do. There we go. Decent. Look at that harness, boys. That looks friggin' nice, eh? All right, so now that that's up like that, we gotta figure out where the other one went. So it goes along here like so, and it's zip tied over there like so. So let's go up top here, and we'll have a look and see what we can see down here. See how it goes up there, boys? Oh, hold on, let me adjust the old camera cock goes up there and in behind the dash boys friggin right that's friggin decent how many how did i get that zip tie on there for god's sakes jim you guys are lucky i can get you on this angle i'll tell you that right now so if i cut that one off which is right back in here oh, i really don't want to cut it off because it's already run through the frame but i can rerun it i have the technology so we'll slap a new one through the frame right here like so decent and then we'll take this wire and we'll follow it. Oh man, that's, you know your tires are tight, boys, when you can barely, look at this. Look how tight this thing rides. It's freaking decent. I can't even get the wires through between the tire right there, boys. <laughs> that's, 
That's what you call a tight fit, peoples. Friggin' right. Why wouldn't it be a tight fit? All right, flip you back over here so you can see what's really going on. All right, so I'll turn that tire a little bit and we'll pull this one this way, like so, and we'll zip tie her up, boys. You ever notice how hard it is to put a zip tie on with one hand? Pain in the arse. There, so now everything's going the same route. So we gotta cut that off if I can get to it. If I'm not, it's no big deal. It's not gonna hurt my feelings if it stays there, but I think I can get to her. We're gonna ride again. So let's go up top. Come with me and you'll see. Ooh, okay, head rush. So now we gotta find that wire. There it is, boys. There we go, hey. <coughs> Careful! Don't laugh, my ground isn't covered. Okay? This is the ground for everything, and she's wide open. <laughs> but it's just a ground and it's temporary. So what I need to do is I need to pull that back like that. Well, maybe not quite that far. Let's see there. We'll cut the loom right about here somewhere with these awesome pieces of shit I got. Where's the other ones? Boys, I just had them. What the hell they do with the goddamn things? <laughs> All right, here they are. So we'll cut that off like that and we'll cover the rest of the wire. And then we're gonna need this one to go with the headlights. So over to this guy. Cause this, this is part of the tail lights. So we want on the headlights, boys. So we'll take that off like that and we'll cut that about like that and we'll strip it. And we'll wrap it on our big wad of grounds. I'm gonna buy a ground block for all these wires. So everything will, ow, everything will ground to the same except for the stereo, of course. Put that on its own ground, boys. But I just want to show you how this all works. So there we go. So what I want to do is I want to pull this light one off. Oh, that worked good. Decent. Throw it away. Put that together and we'll tape those two together because those are the lights. We'll use the good old tape. Yeah, good old Car Fox gave me some tape he did. Overpriced hockey tape, boys. Eh? Thanks, Gatlin. Why wouldn't you, bud? I'll take you for a ride, eh? I'll make up for it, won't it? Go for a rip, we will. So we'll tape these two together like this because this is all the light, boys. And then we'll feed her into the hole. And whenever you're doing this, make sure you get all the way through the hole. So now we'll uh, give that a little pinch of Ruski. Test her, she feels good, and plug her in, boys. Plug her in El Light Hose, boys. There we go. So that's done. So let's slide this back in for now. And we'll check them out, eh? See how they look. And just so you know, boys, I put the switch Main power is up here now for the, for the accessories, eh? Until I get that remote thing I was talking about. You know, it's not like I forgot that I needed to do this, but I didn't want to do it like this. I wanted a remote start, but this will turn all the lights, all the power on. So we got 12.8 volts off the battery right now, so you don't have to worry about cooking anything. Because she's not running right now. It's not making the big 16.7 volts, boys. So what I did was, I got the water light for my water, which I showed you. I got the headlights which are decent and I fixed. Hey, I put the other one on, boys, look at that. That's freaking decent. And I made these lights come on with the tail lights. Now you're gonna ask, why did I put them in there? Well, they're white. They didn't look very good. I didn't want to see them. Tons of light, boys, look at it. Let me unplug the lights for a minute. So now it looks stealth. In the daytime, you wouldn't even know there were lights there, boys. Hey, they're all hidden. But uh, I also did this, boys. Check this out. Oh, it's part of the underglow, eh? Look at that. Look at that, boys. Hey, you can't even tell they're there unless you go like this. So they, they went in there pretty decent. Those look killer, they do. See, now when you look back at the cart, look at her. She glows red. Look at it. Now all I got left to do is the underlights. This thing's lit up like a Christmas tree, it is. She's redder than dicks. But that's pretty freaking decent, eh? That's plenty of light to see the cart. You won't run into that, boys. I might build a top for it too, I'm not sure yet. Leave your comments below there and let me know what you think. If I, I was gonna, me and Sean talked about this the other night. I might make an aluminum frame, square box right here, and then get a smaller aluminum frame and come up like this, put a 90 in her and come forward and use some canvas, boys. Just like Fred Fledstone's mobile, eh? Like somebody's been coming, I can't remember your name. But anyways, yeah, you, bud. Freaking right. But anyways, what do you think of that? Leave a comment below and I'll, I'll wrap the aluminum square tubing in uh, some uh, fake uh, that stuff, eh? Whatever the hell it's called, I can't remember right now. Yeah, that stuff, carbon. And uh, we'll come across all wrapped in carbon. 
with like a red awning or something that has the end that flops over. Tell me what you think of that in the comments below. Tell me if you think I should put a lid on this thing or just leave her convertible, boys. I'd like to know, eh? Inquire minds want to know. But that's pretty friggin' decent. Main shut off. Friggin' right. And yeah, the switches are all ass backwards, but that's the way I want them. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little video of hooking up the couple strips there. And uh, don't forget, like I said, to subscribe and hit that like button, please. I really appreciate it. Why wouldn't I? And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs> <laughs>